It is currently eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so tomorrow I am getting um, knotless braids put into my hair. I, I just kind of want a little bit of a break. I don't know if you guys can see this, but my hair, you know, it's doing, it's doing its thing. I don't put any, um, I don't really put any heat in my hair. My hair air dries like all of the time. However, it has been fairly cold because it's February. Um, and because of that, I wanted to kind of give myself a break. Also, um, so in June, I'm going on my honeymoon. Yay! Um, and because of that, uh, I want to have a protective style for that one as well because we're going to another country and I do not want to have to lug all of my stuff and things with me um so I want to kind of use this as a trial run to kind of see okay well this is what I want to do let me figure out what products work what products don't work what it's like to have it like that for at least two weeks to kind of like figure out because that's how long we'll be gone um so this is kind of like the dress rehearsal so that I don't have to worry about it and I already know what I need to do. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to go to the salon and get braids in. Um, even though my mom used to be a hairdresser, I am a brat. And I've always been a brat, even though I had a lot of hair. Um, it used to be like down my back and stuff. But um, because of that, I, I was like really tender headed and I didn't let people and ruining my hair, um, much to their chagrin. So I guess I'm making up for a long time. So today we are going to wash my hair. We are going to stretch out my hair. I'm gonna use a blow dryer. I think the last time I blow dried my hair was, ooh, I don't know, like eight months ago. I really don't put heat in my hair. So, and that's on purpose. Um, so I'm, I figured that today I'll just bring you guys along with me um, on this fun little hair journey um so yeah let's get to it so because i have um color my hair i tend not to use a clarifying shampoo however this is going just on the scalp here this is by pattern beauty i do actually really like this product so we'll be doing this part first and just kind of clarifying the hair making sure that everything is out of the scalp and it's good clean scalp. Then we're gonna go behind it with the hydrating shampoo. This is because, again, my hair, I because it's bleached, it wants to make sure that it's healthy and is as hydrated as possible because it's gonna be in this style for at least a month. And then we have the heavy conditioner now this, I'm not gonna leave my hair. Normally on a daily basis, I don't actually really rinse this out of my hair. Um, but for this one, we're gonna leave it in for about five minutes and then we're gonna rinse it out. And then afterwards, for some double duty, we're gonna do Carol's Daughter's Black Vanilla Deep Conditioning Hair Smoothie. And we're gonna leave this in for about, usually, I leave it in for about half an hour at the max and kind of just like walk around and do stuff before I rinse it back out. So after um, I get out of the shower, my plan is to use this Divine Strength Leave-In Conditioner by Carol's Daughter. Specifically, again, I want to make sure my hair is protected. I'm not going to use a whole lot of it, but I want to have some, just a little bit of leave-in conditioner before I do the blow drying and then this hydrating mist. Again, I'm trying not to put a crap ton of product in my hair because I don't want to compromise the hair before I go to the appointment. Now, these guys are my planned arsenal for after I have the braids in. So we have a micellar rinse infused with apple cider vinegar, root refresh by Sunday to Sunday. This is definitely for my scalp and also when I get back from the gym. I have two different scalp serums that I'm gonna alternate between and see which one I like better. This one's also by Sunday to Sunday. This is a Soothe Me Daily Scalp Serum infused with peppermint oil. And this one is by Pattern Beauty. This is also a scalp serum that also is invigorating and cooling. 
so I kind of want to make sure that I have some stuff to soothe the scalp and this is for my edges because my edges are probably the only thing they're really going to get any um, particular action um, I already use this obviously and I love it this is also by Sunday to Sunday and so these are the products these two for when these two before when I get out of the shower right before I blow dry my hair and these are going to be for the life of my braids all right so we are fresh from the shower I've already gone ahead and detangled I prefer to detangle in the shower because that way I can rinse everything off and I don't have anything stuck to me next we're going to section the hair into four sections it makes it a lot easier for me to go through and make all the little twists so that's what we're doing here and then we'll section each of those four pieces as well uh, like I mentioned before we'll put a little bit of that leave-in conditioner in there and then we'll come back behind it with the brush to make sure everything's all the way through it as well as then hitting it with the hydrating mist so we're gonna section things off hit it with the mist just so we get some extra hydration and then we're going to put them into twists this is because of the stretching method uh, I did eventually decide to um, dry my hair with a hair dryer but um, I did attempt this part first which is just to have my hair air dry with the twists in but being me and I am an incredibly impatient woman I did not last I think probably like an hour or two before I just gave up but here you see my valiant effort to attempt to do the um, the no heat method it's not my finest moment but it is what it is <laughs> so um, if you've seen uh, the YouTube short that I posted um, earlier this month um, then you'll see the actual whole me going to the salon and getting my hair done but this is the final product it is medium uh, knotless box braids um, I chose these uh, one is because it's a little easier to manipulate as well as the fact that it um, it has less tension however there are you know I haven't had braids since I um, actually I've never had braids I've had like cornrows and I've had stuff like that but I don't ever get like fake hair put into my hair um, only just because I'm a brat and I don't <laughs> um, even, even as a little kid um, I didn't like sitting in the um, in the chair for a long period of time this took about a little shy of five hours um, and she did a really good job I love it obviously it's still Still repping the blue here because that is necessity. But um, definitely, um, some things would take an adjustment. Um, I got from Snatch Flame. I got so I got these shower caps so that I can continue to bathe. Um, I also got these um, these new bonnets I've been sleeping in to for the braids. Ooh, they're also from Snatch Flame. I'll go get them real quick. Okay. Filming my back. What do you expect? So, in new surprise, no one. I got a black one, but I also got this one. Isn't she pretty? Oh, she's wonderful, and it fits my braids. Um, I think it's like up to 26 inches, so that's really nice. Um, I will put the, the link in the description of the uh, the website. Um, you know, support those black-owned businesses is in Portante. Don't judge me, I took French in high school and college. Do I speak it? No, because if you don't use it, you lose it. And to add insult to injury, I am currently trying to teach myself Korean. That is, being dyslexic and trying to learn Hangul is um, an experience. Just say that. But anyways, um, so this is the hair. I did put a little bit of that hydrating spray by Pattern, um, as well as um, the oil. Oh, I'll show you the oil. 
Um, so this is um, Argan Oil Serum, also by Pattern Beauty. So I put the hydrating mist on first, and then I did uh, the Argan Oil, just to kind of lock it in and keep my head moisturized, because I do have eczema, and I want to make sure that I don't end up um, breaking out. Um, I haven't had any tension headaches. It is, they are tight. They're not like loose. And that's not a bad thing. They're not so tight. I'm not getting like little bumps around the perimeter of my head. I've been checking. So there's no um, tension breakouts or anything like that. There's, there's none of that. It's just, um, you know, breaks. So that's that. Um, also, it is snowing. And that is wonderful, sort of. But you know, I, could, I could do without it. Anyways. 